Well, for families living with autism spectrum disorder, little steps can be big milestones. One Guelph family is attributing martial arts classes for helping their eight-year-old learn to self-regulate. As CTV's Krista Sharp explains, experts say finding a passion is important. A few years ago, the simple sound of applause would have upset eight-year-old Jonathan. Yeah, he can handle it now. It doesn't bother him near as much. At three years old, he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. For Jonathan, it was loud noises that could specifically trigger emotional reactions. His mom describing him as a previous Dasher. When he was younger, he used to um, like run off every now and then. He started martial arts at the age of five. There's a lot of things going on here at the studio. There's, you know, walking in a sensory overload. And those around him say the behavioral growth has been tremendous. Having him move from one-on-one -on -one to, you know, group classes with no issue now, um, I think really speaks volumes, I think, to where he's kind of progressed now. According to Jonathan. It's called maturity. He's more outgoing. He's calmer, able to self-regulate a lot more. Much like each individual with autism is unique, their preferred activities would be unique. Margaret Schneider with Wilfrid Laurier University says once a person with ASD finds an activity they truly enjoy, focus may come more naturally. So engaging in that activity requires a great deal of focus and can be very calming to the individual with ASD. I think the, the, the big thing, the focus, um, you know, a big, big part of the curriculum and moving up through the belts is memorization. Learning new moves. High class escadas. And growing in many different ways. And now he's almost as tall as me. Jonathan is already halfway to a black belt. Are you excited to get your black belt? Yeah. What kind of skills do you have to do to get it? Oh, uh, locked. Locked. But that's okay. That's just that just means you're gonna work hard for it, right? Right. Krista Sharp, CTV News, Guelph.